Alright, anyway, welcome back to us here on our WWE 2K18 Universe mode. I am, of course, Dom here on the Bios channel, making his way to the ring. Last week, he fought one on one against the animal Batista, and apparently, apparently, Batista, uh, he defeated him. But uh, during the matchup, Bray Wyatt came out, and uh, Sister Abigail, Apollo Crews, the referee, apparently disappeared. So Batista used. That momentum from the Sister Abigail to get the win on Apollo Crews. Ladies and gentlemen, Apollo Crews is going to be all one-on-one -on -one with a man who has also had a little bit of controversy involved with him. And he is a man named the Brian Kendrick. Okay, a few weeks to go. The Brian Kendrick, the Brian Kendrick, whatever you want to call him. Brian Kendrick, however. He fought one-on-one -on -one in a number one contenders matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship. Um, and that match was supposed to be, and the winner of that match was supposed to face off against, um, uh, Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight title, or the light heavyweight title, I should say, at, uh, the, um, the next pay-per-view Survivor Series. Ryan Kendrick, he took it upon himself to then use a sledgehammer mid-match. Which was a little, a little weird, I mean, sure, I got him the loss, but it was a very weird loss, nonetheless, so, um... Bobby Roode, he does have an announcement to make about said confusion. But yeah, anyways, Apollo Crews going to be taking on Brian Kendrick. Controversy has laid out between both of these superstars in this series thus far. Now look at this. Oh my god. Oh god. Apollo Crews, the power of Apollo Crews on Brian Kendrick, ladies and gentlemen. Apollo Crews, look at this. And then boop, right into the ground there. Slamming his head into the mat there. Apollo Crews, look at this. He is, oh, with a big elbow just flying around the ring. Brian Kendrick, okay, he's much more of a sneaky deviance competitor. He was very close to feeding Braun Strowman, which is no easy task. A while back up, a while back, ladies and gentlemen. It's not Apollo Crews once again takes him down with. I'm not gonna lie, I really just like that move. I really like it. As now, look at this. Apollo Crews slams him down, ladies and gentlemen. Crews can't lose potentially. But will he lose here tonight against the Brian Kendrick? We're going to see about that as Cruz throws him into the ropes, jumps over him, and then hits him with a big drop kick connecting there. And now look at this taunting Brian Kendrick. Kendrick, ladies and gentlemen, he is definitely not looking good in this matchup thus far. And Cruz picking up Brian Kendrick, going for a suplex, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like a no with a big punch to the stomach, kick to the stomach there. And now Brian Kendrick trying to get some offense back into. This matchup and a punch in the face reverses and Apollo Crews, look at this, slamming him down. Brian Kendrick reverses him, kicks him in the back of the knee and then misses the Insiguri there. Ladies and gentlemen, with the back and forth action we are seeing here tonight between Apollo Crews. No, D. Brian Kendrick and Crews now look at this, going for the, oh, and it connects there with the Insiguri. Connecting there on Brian Kendrick and Crews, look at this, he's waiting for Kendrick. This might be... A very short matchup, Brian Kendrick not, look, not liking this, Apollo Crews, look at this, slams him down, ladies and gentlemen, with that big Crews powerbomb, connecting one, two, and three, and Apollo Crews, ladies and gentlemen. Even though B Bray Wyatt last week decided to attack Apollo Crews, Apollo Crews seems to be 100% focused on his path here on Friday Night Smackdown, Apollo Crews, look at this, and oh, whoa, look at this, Bray Wyatt. Making his way to the ring, looks like Apollo Crews, he's challenging him, Bray Wyatt's watching Apollo Crews, I'm not too sure why, but okay. Uh, okay then, well, even though Bray Wyatt, ladies and gentlemen, watches, watch as Apollo Crews defeats the Brian Kendrick in the previous matchup, in our first matchup. Uh, like I said in that matchup, Bobby Roode, he is coming out here, he has a few announcements he wants to make. So, let's see what he has to say. Well, would you look at that. Even though all of you puny and idiotic fans were rooting against me, I am still your World Heavyweight Champion. Like I keep saying time and time again, absolutely nobody can touch me in this ring. But enough about me. Let me get on to my announcements. At the Survivor Series pay-per-view, there will be a 4-on-4 Raw vs. SmackDown Elimination Tag Team Match. So, to prove that I am not only the best superstar on the roster, but the best general manager, I am putting myself in that match. But you might be wondering, who else will team up with me? I'm glad you asked. 
My partners in the match will be Braun Strowman, Triple H, and Batista. Now on to something else that is of my concern. A few weeks ago, Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher's number one contenders match ended in controversy. So even though I hate talking to him, Dean Ambrose and I came up to an agreement on what to do. The match for the Cruiserweight title will be a fatal four-way. It will pit Austin Aries, Jack Gallagher, Brian Kendrick, and a man of Ambrose's choosing against each other. So that concludes my absolutely glorious announcements. Let's get back to our programming. Everybody, huge announcements we just heard by Bobby Roode. First off, there will be apparently a fatal four-way for the Cruiserweight Championship. Or the Light Heavyweight Championship, whatever you want to call it. I, I still don't know. I still don't know. Anyways, um, at, at Survivor Series, but also at Survivor Series, there is now the confirmed fatal... Or not fatal for the confirmed four man or four on four tag team matchup pitting Raw versus SmackDown. It's Raw and SmackDown's finest. Okay, we got Finn Balor, Chris Jericho, Dean Ambrose, and Shinsuke Nakamura uh, representing Monday Night Raw. But for Friday Night SmackDown, it's going to be our general manager, Bobby Roode, uh, Braun Strowman, Batista, and this man, Triple H. And now Triple H, ladies and gentlemen, he wants to go one on one. He's okay. He's he wants to warm himself up, ladies and gentlemen, here tonight. And who is he gonna come out and fight, ladies and gentlemen, to prove to SmackDown that he is the best choice for Mr. Rude's uh, SmackDown team, and also prove to Monday Night Raw exactly what SmackDown has to offer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, apparently it's gonna be one half of the Hardy Boys, but which one will it be? I have no clue. And ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Hardy is the man he has asked to face. Is Jeff Hardy gonna be teaming or gonna be facing one on one against Triple H? I know Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, they're usually uh, uh, together. However, it looks like the Hardy Boys are gonna be going their separate ways. At least for this matchup, Jeff Hardy coming out here alone. He wants to show that he is not only the best in tag team in, or one of the best. In terms of tag team uh, com competition, but also in terms of single competition, as Jeff Hardy and Triple H now squaring off. This should take us back a few years. Triple H facing one on one against Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy now, ladies and gentlemen, gets off of him here. Okay, mutual respect between these two. And now Triple H seems to be the one outpowering Jeff Hardy now, putting him into the corner, trying to get him off. And now look at this. Once again, respect being shown here tonight. And Triple H, look at this immediately on the elbows. And now the punches. Triple H re gets reversed there. And Jeff Hardy wants to go for a big cutter style maneuver and reverses. It's Triple H. Oh, catches him with the DDT there. And now the match has officially began. Choking. Absolutely choking Jeff Hardy. Come on. I don't know if that was necessarily respectful or necessarily needed. But Triple H, ladies and gentlemen, using all of the tactics he can. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. As Triple H throws Jeff Hardy into the corner. And Triple H, oh, with a big clothesline connecting there by the game. On on Mr. Hardy as an elbow connects there. A sharp elbow by the game to Jeff Hardy. And Triple H, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Not usually a, a man to fly. Usually it's Jeff Hardy's turn. No, oh, ladies and gentlemen, catching him. With a double axe handle connecting from the middle turnbuckle. And now look at this. Jeff Hardy trying to get into this. What is he going for here? Oh, and a headbutt there. Headbutt style maneuver. And Jeff Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, has Triple H on the run. Triple H walking away now. And now look at this. Jeff Hardy. Look at this. Taunting. Oh, kicks him in the stomach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One, I didn't know that was in the game. <laughs> Two, okay, sure. Why not? Triple H. Going after the going after Jeff Hardy with everything he's got. And now throws him onto the top turnbuckle. And Triple H, look at this, just right to the back of the head. Good lord. Triple H not giving Jeff Hardy anything in this matchup. Really making him earn a victory as the game. Now look at this, ducks underneath. And catches him with to a spine buster off the ropes. And Triple H, ladies and gentlemen, this might be very similar to the Apollo Crews-Brian Kendrick matchup we just watched. This might be over. 
Pedigree about to connect here, ladies and gentlemen, and again, con or not again, but connects there by Triple H to Jeff Hardy. Triple H, ladies and gentlemen, really proving himself one, two, and look at look at this. Triple H telling him he's not done. He's not done, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't good. This isn't good. But Jeff Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, taking advantage, throws him into the ropes. Maybe this might be uh, the worst option that Triple H has. Maybe he was about to get the one, two, three. Not too sure. But Jeff Hardy, he is waking himself, ladies and gentlemen. He has gotten, I guess you could say, awoken. I get it because it's... Uh... Anyways, Jeff Hardy, look at this, ladies and gentlemen, getting the momentum in. And then, oh, right to the groinal area. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, and it connects there. And Jeff Hardy kicks him there with a big drop kick off of it. And Jeff Hardy now, ladies and gentlemen. The charismatic enigma connects there with us with a big twist of fate. And Jeff, ladies and gentlemen, the combination might be about to connect here on the game. And it connects. Oh my god, stiff. A very stiff. Stiff Swanton connects there. Middle of the ring. One. Two. And no, ladies and gentlemen, Triple H kicks out of the Swanton. Jeff Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, cannot believe it. But of course, Triple H, I, I will say, he's had a lot more matches lately than Jeff Hardy. Maybe Triple H's tolerance has been gaining, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Hardy, look at Oh, gets a reversal there, ladies and gentlemen. Triple H immediately now back on the attack. Immediately with the stops. And now Triple H wants to go for a punch. Jeff Hardy reverses it, throws him into the corner. And Triple H, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Huge clothesline. Just crushing. Just crushing Jeff Hardy there. And now Jeff Hardy, look at this. Triple H picking him up into a throwing. Oh, into a, a buckle bomb. Very similar to one of his old protégé's maneuvers. Of course, that man on Monday Night Raw. They're one of their champions. As Triple H connects there with the spine buster. And the game looking on as Jeff Hardy now looking good. Triple H. Triple H. Sorry, Triple H. Kicks him in the stomach. And the game. A second pedigree connecting there. A second pedigree connecting on Jeff Hardy. Goes for the cover, ladies and gentlemen. Main event of Friday Night SmackDown. One, two, three. And the game. Right on Jeff Hardy. Proving just who he is. Triple H defeats Jeff Hardy and very, I don't know, interesting and very, um, well, there you can see the twist of fate and then right into the stiff swanton bomb connecting, but very, um, a brutal fashion it looks like as Triple H, the game, the king of kings, the multi-time world heavyweight champion, defeats Jeff Hardy as we're going to have to end the episode. This might be a very short episode. However, that's all we had. That's all I had for you. This is going to be the end of this episode here on our W2K18 Universe Mode, episode 81. If you guys like to, please let me know by hitting, the like, by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything you want to comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have one, hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on the Bad Wrestling channel. I am, of course, Dominic, and have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Bye, boy. Yo.